Now another alternative form. Head is provided with alternative forms. Downward head and upward head. Now there is another alternative form. Another abbreviated form. Another abbreviated device for head. So the other way of writing is head. Let us see. It is called tick head. A small tick represents head. Initial head. Initial Hey, that means initial hey means in the word hey must be the first consonant. Initial hey before M L R. M L R. These strokes. Before that hey should come. Then that hey is represented by a small slanting tick. Let us see example. Home. This is O. Okay. Oh. So, initial he. So, in a word, he must be the, in a word, he must be the first consonant. Then, there should be yam. Yal. R. R. That is, yam. L. R. These strokes should come. Okay. Or means not ray. Not ray. Only downward R. Have. Now, initially he has come. Now, this he is represented by a downward, a light downward slanting tick. Now, how you write he? Downward he. Okay. Now, that's all. A small tick written downward, that represents he. You need not write the full stroke, basic stroke. That's all. Home. Oh. Just I will enlarge. just to, to demonstrate. Oh. This small tick represents a hey sound. Before the strokes, MLR. That means in the word hey, then there should be yam. R, yal, R, R. Now hill. Just like a downward form. That's all. Small tick. That's all. Yeah. So, hill. Hill. Have. Downward form. Then have. Have. This represents a hey. Small tick. Then it is a herb. Herb. Okay. Hey plus a. Plus M. M. So before the strokes MLR, the initial sound of A is represented by a small tick. So it is called a tick A. Okay. This tick A can be used merely in a phrase, but not in words. In words means only MLR. In words means before. M, L, R, initial A is represented by the tick. Tick A may be used merely in phrases, but not in words. For whom? You write for. You can join for whom? For whom? Of her. You can join of her. Then to her, suppose to her. To her. So, TK may be used in the middle of a phrase, not in words. If you want to use TK in the words, it is only initial here before MLR. That's all. For example, inhuman. So, this is a word. Inhuman is a single word. So, in the middle, here has come. Okay. So, in human. 
you cannot use the tick head so you have to write this stroke only over how over how over how medially in a word you cannot use the tick head it is restricted but you can use it in phrases very few phrases tick a is used there are only a few phrases not many now there is another short form represent the consonant a now see how many ways in which a is represented here is the alternative forms basic forms then tick a is there now a light dark represents a that's enough another abbreviated device the shortest form because here is very much used in words so this here is having four alternative forms first is basic stroke downward and upward form then you have tick a now a dot a light dot represents a hay in the middle of an outline if the stroke form of a hay is not convenient hay is represented by a light dot placed before the vowel which is to be aspirated if the stroke form of hay is not convenient in the middle of a word in the middle of a word it is represented it means hay it means hay it means hay hay is represented by a light dot by a light dot placed before the vowel which is to be aspirated let us see an example perhaps here occur in the middle of it now here is there in the middle then let us write the other concept for leave it off instead of writing the stroke instead of writing the stroke p s par this is par up to here up to here par apps par apps okay par apps just i have joined no as i said aspirate is mere breathing it is generally attached with a vowel it falls upon a vowel then only we will get the sound clearly here this aspirate hey so now what is the vowel that is to be aspirated on which vowel this hey has fallen this is the vowel isn't it a is the vowel this is the this is the vowel on which this he has fallen that means this is the vowel that is to be aspirated ha just like at hat so this is this a is aspirated hat suppose this is the vowel that is aspirated that means the breathing is mixed with that vowel now this is the vowel so before that you put a dot this dot represents a hey. par par ha a oops par up to this par ha then read this apps understood perhaps so this is the vowel that is to be aspirated so before that you put the light dot that represents this this dot represents hey this dot represents hey up hill 
அப்ப
praises are given now. So, practice very well. I am surprised how much time it has taken to pronounce. Within the time you must be able to write. Therefore, practice very well. I am surprised. 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 Like that you practice. These are very common phrases. Very common phrases. Exercise number 67 and 68. So, perfectly do this.